Hi everybody, my name is Scott Walls. I am the Source to Settle and OBN expert here at Panamere. For over 25 years, I've deployed ERP applications for some of the world's largest organizations. Before I get started, I wanted to acknowledge Kilo Kondratiev for providing me with some of the key content required to put this deck together. He's an integration expert at OraCloud Plus and here at Panamere. He has years of integration experience and was a key team member on the team responsible for enabling hundreds of OBN integrations and CXML connections at Republic Services. You're watching a buyer supplier integration video. In this video, I provide an overview of the Oracle Business Network's bifurcated supplier model. This application is related to Oracle Cloud's procurement functional area. Click the link above to watch a quick video explaining the procurement functional area. I'll use the following slides to explain the bifurcated model. What is bifurcated supply? Buyer supplier integration with OBN and the buyer excuse me, the bifurcated supply model. But best of all, I'm gonna do this in less than five minutes. So let's get started. Slide one, what is the bifurcated supply model? Bifurcated supply refers to when a procurement organization connects to a supplier who uses a third party provider to enable a web store, but not receive payment. Hence, two OBN trading partners are needed. Click the link above to watch a quick video detailing each of the buyer supplier touch points, as well as the best practices options for enabling or integrating each. Slide two, the buyer supplier model within OBN. So as you can see here, this lays out the procure to pay process on the top and the reciprocal order to cash supplier process on the very bottom. And then the OBN pieces are really all of the integration pieces are in the middle, but OBN is in the middle of the middle. Click the link above to watch a quick video detailing buyer supplier mappings and translation tools. Slide three, here we get into the bifurcated supply model. So really what I did is I just removed all of the pieces of the prior slide. And this is a diagram of the buyer supplier model, what it looks like when there's two different OBN trading partners required to enable one supplier. Here's one to get the sales order and oftentimes to house the web store. And then they pass that order over to the other supplier or other trading partner, which is often the real supplier, and they issue the invoice back. So again, pro tip, this setup happens when a real world supplier, so let's take for example, Bridgestone, the tire company, uses a third party supplier, so they used punch out to go to enable a punch out site for customer requests or a commerce site or web store. If this makes no sense to you, no problem. Reach out to me directly and I'll walk you through the process and what and why to do. Okay. This is the end of this quick video presentation, but hopefully it's just the beginning of your Panamere journey. Did you know that there are thousands of free videos just like this one on Panamere.com and hundreds more on Panamere's YouTube channel? In fact, if you're watching this on YouTube, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Remember, better content, better skills, better income, better life. Panamere wants to help you get 1% better every day. Thank you for watching and have a great day.